Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So first, I want to start by just thanking you for watching my channel and sharing it with your friends and liking the videos, commenting. I really appreciate your following. But today I want to talk to you about the key role that the zinnia plant plays in the monarch migration. So I have a bunch of zinnias in bloom. So we're going to look at that and how monarchs feast on them in the late part of the year in September here. The zinnia is such a great plant. It's so easy to grow. You plant it by seed. They grow 36 to 48 inches tall. They've got all kinds of blooms and they just keep blooming all summer and the monarchs just love them. So I've got all kinds of great video here of the monarchs feasting on the zinnia. So I want to share that with you. So in the fall, I don't have, have a lot of plants that are blooming. So along with the zinnias, the asters, New England asters are just starting to bloom and they'll go through the end of October or until I get freezes here in Minnesota. So that's one of the cool plants I like in the fall along with the zinnias. So it's late September in Minnesota and the monarchs are starting to really build up their fat reservoirs and their strength so by eating a lot of nectar and pollen so they can migrate to Mexico hundreds and hundreds of miles and there's not tons of plants in bloom still but one of the great plants is the zinnia blooms from July through the end of September and this past week the monarchs have been all over my zinnias I just get so excited I bet I've had 20 25 monarchs over the last few days just feasting on these zinnias Then the other plant I have that's in bloom and it's almost done blooming is the sedums. And the sedums have had lots of pollinators on them the last month or so, but they're just coming to the end of their bloom. I think this one's still in bloom a little bit, but the rest of them are just finishing up. So that's about all I have in late September. So that's why, again, it goes back to I love the zinnias because they are just full bloom attracting pollinators. So if you're going to have a butterfly garden, you got to have zinnias. They bloom so long. Butterflies love them. And at the end of the season, monarchs can just really spend a lot of time taking in their nectar and pollen so they have the strength to migrate all the way to Mexico. So that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed the video of watching all the monarchs I've had in my butterfly garden and on my zinnias this week. I hope you have a great day, an amazing relationship between the monarch and the zinnias. That's all I got today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out and have a great day.